Hello. My name is Lee Wick. I am a robot being custom built to be a social partner for older adults, especially older adults with Alzheimer's disease. What we're doing with this robot is basically, we're kind of playing a game. The idea is the robot is trying to learn about what it means to be a person uh, by asking questions. And then the resident has a tablet and they're kind of t telling the robot what they see. So the robot's learning about, about uh, what it means to be a human, kind of giving this nice kind of parent-child relationship between the, uh, the resident and the robot. But while the person's talking, the robot's also analyzing, okay, this person's having trouble with these words or they're using pronouns in a different way or something like that. And we can use that information to help nurses and caregivers and even doctors um, make um, assessments. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> the next step is really to, to understand how people feel about things, uh, certain topics, um, certain um, things that happened in their past, for example, to stay away from those things or to go on things that might be more pleasant and develop that over time. So this is a multi-year project. The robotics and the artificial intelligence, either together or separately, will play a huge role in um, elderly care going forward. There's going to be uh, a huge rise of um, incidence of Alzheimer's disease uh, in the next couple of decades. So right now there's about 600,000 people in Canada with the disease. That'll go up to about 1.5 million in the next few decades. Um, and there aren't enough people to look after um, all of these individuals. So uh, there's going to have to be some more intelligent sensors or intelligent technology that can help fill those gaps and give those nurses and those doctors information that they might not normally have. Where do you come from? You're not good. I come from Toronto. Oh, good. I was born in Toronto. I think. 